Hello folks and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. Remember the Shed Build V2.0? Now we've upgraded the Shed Build V2.1 by way of installing solar panels on the roof. We've taken wooden blocks to mount the solar panels on the roof so there's some airflow underneath them which is quite important for the efficiency of the solar panels and we've also used some mastic to make sure that those wooden blocks don't leak because they're screwed into the shed roof. Uh, and inside the shed we have a Vivor a 1.2 kilowatt micro inverter which effectively just takes the dc inputs from the solar panels and converts them into 240 volts ac and it matches the 240 volt 50 hertz signal that you have in your house so you literally just plug this straight into a socket in your property if there's a power cut this particular micro inverter also shuts down to make sure it doesn't feed any power back into the lines when perhaps somebody is working on those lines. The micro inverter gets a little warm, especially in the summertime, so I've added a couple of extra heat sinks to it, just bits of sheet aluminium that I've had kicking around to try and sort of suck away that excess heat. And here you can see uh, the mains output cable connecting into an isolating switch, and then the cable itself, which is a 2 mil 3 core mains cable. And if you follow that mains cable along, it goes behind the super high quality stereo system that I designed, which is a 12 volt system, not mains powered. Um, and ultimately the cable just goes straight off up into the house and plugs into a socket in one of the upstairs rooms. And the power generated by the combination of the four solar panels and the Vivo microcontroller just takes care of quite a lot of our daily consumption. So the ultimate question is, is it worth it? Well, by my calculations, even on shady days, these solar panels and the inverter are saving us between 50p and £1.50 every day, based on current electricity prices in 2023 in the UK. Quickly doing the math, you'll work out that that is not far off an average of 300 and 60 something pounds a year. The four solar panels that I purchased were about 60 pounds each. So that's 240 pounds spent. And then on top of that, the micro inverter was about 120, 150 pounds. So within one year, the system has pretty much paid for itself, assuming you're not paying any labor charges for someone else to install this for you and you can do the job yourself. Now there's other work I've done to make the shed a little bit more ecologically friendly or environmentally friendly and that's installing guttering and a water butt. And when it's raining heavily outside it gives us the ability to be able to channel some of that water away and feed it into the water butt and then we can use it to water the plants and various other things when we need it. So I suppose this sort of helps the environment a little bit but to be honest the principal reason behind it was to try and channel some of that excess rainwater away from the sides of the shed and reduce the potential for rot in the wood. Now inside the shed is a 12 volt system which consists of two large sealed lead acid wheelchair batteries and those wheelchair batteries power the lighting that's inside and outside of the shed and as you can see here we're using high efficiency LED lighting. So these lights draw about a quarter of an amp at 12 volts and they're really quite bright and quite intense so I've had to put some plastic diffusers on them. I've also installed household switches so that I can turn on various different modules inside the shed. They also power a large stereo system that I spent some time designing and making myself. It's called Henry VIII and the reason behind that is because the hardwood oak shelf that it was built out of was found in Henry VIII's bedroom in Acton Court by a friend of mine who was working there at the time. Well folks, I hope this has been a useful video and I hope it's been a little bit sort of inspirational in the sense that it's inspired you to perhaps consider putting up your own solar powered system if you've got the ability to do so. You don't necessarily need a shed to put them on, you can lean them up against the side of the house and all sorts of things. Anyway, as always, thanks ever so much for watching, take care, have a wonderful, wonderful week and weekend and we'll see you in the next video. Time for a beer, bye bye.